r slash no sleep posted by you slash some person 125 i found a 90s kids show on vhs i wish i burned it part one in my spare time i am an avid vhs tape collector for more nostalgic reasons i try to find old shows from my childhood recently i was in my city's local pawn shop and i found a few different vhs tapes dexter's laboratory hey arnold and one i didn't recognize Sunny's Neighborhood. The box cover had a poorly animated kid, with glasses, waving with a scene of houses behind him. Curiously, I looked it up on my phone, and I found no mention of it anywhere. I thought it might have been a local show for the local station. I decided to buy it, and that night, I put it in my VCR. After the static cleared, a title card appeared. The episode was called New Friends. Instantly, the scene changed to a basketball court. There were two people, the one on the right, I recognized from the box's cover, it was Sonny. Sonny, hi there, my name is Sonny. Can I play basketball with you? Kid, sure, my name is David, by the way. Nice to meet you. The scene then froze and jumped from what I could tell to the end of the episode. Sonny, aw, you beat me, that was a good game. Do you want to come to my house and play? David, I should be getting home. My parents are probably waiting for me. Sonny, come on. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Especially not now. The VHS cut and static appeared on the screen. I didn't think anything of it, and decided to go to bed. My dreams. Were weird. I saw Sonny, but he was staring at two missing posters on a pole. One poster read, David Welding missing. The next one had his parents on it. Sonny turned around, and static filled his face. I woke up, and it was morning. I went to work, and when I got home that night, I decided to watch episode 2 of Sunny's Neighborhood. The episode was titled Accidents Happen. Something was off. It showed Sunny with a shovel, throwing dirt on what looked like a silhouette of a body. Sunny, silly, clumsy David, I can't believe you tripped over that rock. Now you can't play with me. The tape abruptly ended, and there was one more episode. It was titled Will You Play With Me? I was really hesitant to watch it, but something was influencing me. I had no choice. It started with Sunny in, what looks like a bedroom. Toys on the floor. Sunny face was filled with static, and he was staring blankly at the screen. Text kept on popping up. Will you play with me? And play with me. Over and over. I had enough, even though I should have stopped at episode 2. I ejected the tape, grabbed the box and the tapes, and threw them in the dumpster outside. The next day, after I got home from work, I heard my VCR running. A familiar voice echoed through my apartment. Will you play with me? Posted by you slash some, person 125. I found a 90s kids show on VHS, I should have burned it. Part 2. I walked into my bedroom to see my VCR was turned on. That fucking thing. Sonny was on my television, staring back at me. Why I died, he stared back at me with a wide grin. The whole background behind him was static. Enough was enough, I grabbed my VCR and chucked it across the room. That was a mistake. I'm sorry Danny. I don't know how, but that bastard escaped into our reality. At first it started with the shadows, it would appear in the corners of the apartment. I just thought it was my imagination, I haven't been getting good sleep lately so I attributed it to that. I keep on feeling I am being watched, almost like how a wild animal would stare at you. My dreams got weird, I would always be in a graveyard. Then, I would see Sunny happy as ever. Standing next to my grave, the next thing you know, I'm in a coffin, lowering down. Sonny would be staring at me that whole damn time, waving. I would always wake up after that. Sometimes, I would hear whispering, and other times, I would hear a TV show like it was playing in my head. My sleep got worse after that started, I practically lived on 5 hour energy. I started researching online about Sonny's neighborhood. I couldn't find anything, and I gave up. It was almost like it never existed in the first place. I was beyond frustrated. I went to a psychiatrist. It just got too much to deal with. After a few weeks of talking, I was told I was just stressed out. How I needed to relax, and then the dreams would magically disappear. They did not. They only amplified. Now, it got to a point where I couldn't see a cartoon without seeing Sunny in the background. I was fucking terrified. I was going insane, I should have said no to babysitting. I was babysitting my nephew Danny today. After a few hours of video games and nerf fights, he wanted to watch television. I turned on Nicktoons and went to go do some work. After 20 minutes, 
I heard Danny talking to someone. I walked into the room, and he was staring at me, like I was intruding on a conversation. Me, hey, who were you talking to? Danny, my new friend. Danny was almost six, so I just assumed he had an imaginary friend. Me, ah, uh, can I meet your friend? What's his name? Danny, his name is Sonny, he said he doesn't like you very much. My blood ran cold. How could Danny know about that thing? This had to be a coincidence. Then it happened, and Danny was gone. Laughter filled the apartment. It was deafening. I couldn't breathe. I was frozen. And then it all went black. It's been two weeks, and they still haven't found my nephew. I know that bastard took him, I don't know how or where. I see his smile in my sleep, I would give anything to not see that smile again. But I have to find my nephew. If you're reading this, and you found a copy of Sonny's Neighborhood, burn it. Burn it to fucking ash. Don't let what happened to me happen to you. Posted by you slash some, person 125. Henry's hiding game. I never have been one for believing in the supernatural. I've always heard stories about doors closing on their own, and chairs levitating. I always have chalked it up to what they are, stories. So when my friend Jeremy told me about a game, where you play a round of hide and seek with an entity called Henry, I told him as the good friend that I am, he was full of shit. For the next few weeks, he would keep on bringing it up. One night, though, that's when he convinced us to play it. That was a mistake. We were at our other friend, Tony's house. The time was 8pm it was me, my friends Tony, Adam, and Jeremy. Jeremy brought up the game again, and I rolled my eyes. He started explaining that he was told about this game by his cousin. Jeremy also told them everything he told me. He eventually asked if we wanted to play, and me, hoping this would stop him talking about it, I agreed. The others agreed also, and they were generally curious. Jeremy, alright, so to play we need to turn off every light. After, participating players must stand in a circle and chant we invite you, Henry, to play ten times. After, all players must hide till you hear a bell ring. Every game is different and can last longer. After he told us how to play, Tony went and turned off every light in the house. We all went in the circle, and did the chant. I got a feeling after. Something was wrong, but I pushed it down. We all went to hide, and I chose to hide in the forest. It was me and Tony hiding in the forest, and we found two bushes to hide in. Fifteen minutes, passed, and nothing. I was getting a bit anxious, and I saw Tony was as well. After another five minutes, I was about to say something to Tony when I heard someone coming. So I hid back down, and I didn't recognize the person. He was wearing a dark cloak, and it looked like his face was the void. He was holding a bloody knife. I looked at Tony, and we were both frozen, scared shitless. After another five minutes, the person went deeper in the woods and we made a run for it to the house. As we got in, I grabbed the landline and dialed 911. The phone ran, and then it didn't. It died almost instantly. We decided to find hiding places again and I hid under the bed in the master bedroom. I wasn't sure where Tony hid. Two hours passed, and I heard the intruder come in. My heart was racing, if this was Jeremy or Adam playing a prank, I was going to kill them. I heard them walk around, and then it happened. I heard Tony's screams. Oh God, his screams. I ran out from my hiding place, and then it went dark. I remember one thing before it went dark, the ringing. I woke up on the floor, and Tony was on the floor. He was gone. Adam and Jeremy were nowhere to be seen, and I felt my shoulder ache. The police and EMTs were there, and I was told I was stabbed in the shoulder. They said they thought Tony tried to stop the intruder and got stabbed. I asked about Adam and Jeremy, and they told me it was just me and Tony when they arrived. It's been two weeks, and now I'm writing this. I'm telling you, no, I'm pleading with you. Don't play Henry's hiding game.